much are NFT worth? In theory, anyone can tokenize their work and sell it as an NFT, but recent headlines about multi-million dollar purchases have piqued attention. For instance, Grimes sold some of her digital paintings for more than $6 million. Art isn't the only thing that is tokenized and sold. With bids reaching $2.5 million, Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey sponsored an NFT of the first-ever tweet. Sorer, a French company that offers football trading cards in the form of NFT, has raised $680 million, PS $498 million. But, as with cryptocurrencies, there are concerns regarding the NFT environmental impact. Why are NFT getting so much attention? NFT first appeared in the cryptocurrency industry in 2012-2013, depending on how wide of a net you cast for the category, though they didn't make their way to the Ethereum blockchain until 2017. Since then, however, most tokens live on the Ethereum blockchain. While Ethereum isn't the only blockchain on which the tokens can be built and traded, it is the most popular. The main standard for NFT on the Ethereum blockchain is ERC-721. When a transaction occurs on Ethereum, the wallet starting that process must pay what's known as a gas fee to the miners for their work. The problem with non-fungible tokens on the Ethereum blockchain is that it is an expensive network, and these gas fees can reach unreasonably high numbers when the demand to make transactions is high. The high prices are a function of the popularity of NFT, coupled with the lack of scalability of the current version of the Ethereum blockchain. This scalability issue is poised to change as the project moves from the proof-of-work (POW) consensus algorithm to proof-of-stake (POS) in what is known as the shift to Ethereum 2.0 (ETH2). Until then, token creators have to decide whether the lofty fees are worth it or if they should give another blockchain a try or abandon NFT altogether. Even though they've been around since 2012, NFT have recently become popular due to celebrity connections and exclusivity. For example, before his fight with Floyd Mayweather, Logan Paul offered supporters the chance to win first edition packs of Pokemon cards if they purchased his NFT collector card. In what has been dubbed a gold rush, NFT trading sites like OpenSea are experiencing a surge in adoption. Is this, however, merely speculative hysteria, with a bubble that will inevitably burst as high-powered people try to cash in on intangible assets? While overinflation of value has long been a part of the art world's business model, NFT may provide new options for small artists. One of the advantages of NFT is that royalties are always paid to the creator, even if the value of the artwork or music increases when it is resold. We may start to imagine a world without the money-grabbing middlemen of corporate labels in the music industry, where artists make the majority of sales. It's also a potentially life-changing tool for content creators who engage in meme culture, for example, to monetize artistic avenues that their parents most likely dismissed as a waste of time. All hail a new era of monetized, digitized comedy. NFT create waves, whether you love or despise them, whether you want to buy one or add your music and artwork. So many people are keeping an eye out for get-rich-quick opportunities or looming calamities that may occur with a concept yet in its infancy. It's worthwhile to pay attention.